Hello, can you hear me? Yes. <gasps> Yay. Oh, but can I hear you? Can you not hear me? I can't hear you. Shoot. Dang it. Are you muted perchance? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, let me see. Do you mind saying something else, Brittany? Yes, I don't mind. You can't hear me? Oh, oh man. Let me try. I'll leave. I bet you it's my it's my earphones though and not you. Give me one second. And worst case scenario, I just put on my my headset. Yeah, we've got my AirPods for output. That is very strange. Hmm. Hi, Byron. We're just sorting through some uh, technical issues. But thank you for joining. No worries. I'll uh, I'll mute myself because I'm still munching on lunch. <laughs> Can you hear us now, Anisha? I okay. still can't hear you. No worries. Okay. So let me just put on this headset. This is the problem Mia had. Oh my gosh, now I can hear you. Oh. Hey. Hey Mia. Hey guys. All right. Can I hear you still? Sure. Oh, Yay. my goodness. Excellent. Mia, we're doing some AirPod troubleshooting, but it seems oh. to have all bringing back out. memories. Yes. <laughs> but can you hear? Yes. She was I having think... the same problem where she couldn't hear us. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're doing it from your desk, Kanisha. Yeah. So we tried to set things up in there so that it was easy to do a double monitor, but there were just uh, too many complications. So I just oh, yeah. swept all the junk from my desk into the drawer and sat down right here. <laughs> we could have done my side too, but my side's kind of far. I'm looking at your picture. Your side looks good, Mia. Okay, okay. And then Brittany, are you at your desk then? Yeah, because yeah. we're going to be setting up stuff with the van for the outreach event tomorrow. So I figured I could come in and help kind of oh, get everything great. squared okay. away. Very yeah. much appreciate that. Great. My, my muscles are tired after Civic Academy last night. <laughs> I bet. Well, I'm just going to sit here and eat my salad, so I'll turn it on mute so you don't have to that's, hear me. That's what Byron said, too. He's like, I'm just finishing my lunch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it is that time of day. It's a one o'clock call. Yeah. yeah. I, should, I should have just said in the invitation, feel free to bring your lunch. Maybe we could call this a lunch and learn next time. Perfect. Well, we can just wait for people to trickle in. Um, and I did see a notification that this is being recorded. So uh, nothing we need to do on our end. Perfect. I got it as well. So excellent. All right, good. And so Byron can hear both of us. I think we're good to go for this call. Yay. Excellent. Well, I am also going to go on mute, just review some of my notes. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll kick things off in about five minutes.
looks like we've got a few more people on the line. Um, hey, Sadie, thanks for joining. Um, I'm just planning to kick things off in about three minutes when we've got a couple more people um, on the on the line. Nice to see you. Looks like we just keep getting a few more people in. So um, like I said, we'll probably kick things off in about a minute or two uh, once we hit the top of the hour. What's that? I'm on that email. Swiped it off the door. Okay. It's on that company calendar, actually. Oh. Okay. But my order is ready. Do what? I keep getting a text that my food order is ready. I'm already eating it. Oh. <laughs> All right, looks like we've got quite a few people on um, at this point, although we're expecting about, gosh, maybe a dozen more. Um, so why don't I just give everyone about two more minutes to join, um, and then whatever number we're at, we'll go ahead and get started. All right. Can everybody see my screen? Awesome. Okay. So I just wanted to start out with some introductions. Um, and first, just want to thank you all for joining the call today. Um, I think Gotober is a really fun event, and we definitely um, see a lot more, I, I think, um, progress with, with our goals as the Way to Go program when we can get companies involved in Gotober. So again, I'm just very appreciative of your participation. Uh, my name is Nisha Mokshagundam. I'm the Way to Go Program Manager. I'll be your main point of contact for Gotober, although I've got quite a few colleagues on the line today. Um, Brittany Compton and Mia Bamelin are both on my team here um, at Dr. Cog. We also are joined by Maddie Bjornhold, who is uh, the admin assistant um, in our communications and marketing team. So um, one of the takeaways that I, I'd like you all to go away with is just, you know, familiarization with, with you know, my face and name, um, Brittany's as well. Uh, do feel free to contact way to go at drcog.org if you run into any issues as you're marketing Gotober or as you're uh, participating going through the challenge. So just a couple notes before we get started. I think all of you probably saw the notification that this meeting is being recorded. Um, I wanted to record this meeting so that I can post it on the drcog.org website later for all of you to take a look at in the future if you need to kind of review some of the information we talk about today. 
I do want to keep this call relatively informal. I don't feel like we've got a huge crowd on the line today. Um, as I'm talking, if any of you have questions, comments, feedback, um, or, or anything else I can maybe uh, share additional details over, um, just feel free to raise your hand. Um, Brittany's going to be monitoring both the raised hands as well as any questions you put into chat. Um, if you raise your hand, she'll just sort of unmute herself and stop me. We can respond to your question. Anything you put into chat, we'll probably respond to, um, you know, at a more organic time, maybe when we're done with the deck and moving on to the new um, station. Give me one second. All right. So. Um, I am going to just present from a very short deck as we talk through kind of the benefits of Gotober and why I want you all to participate. Um, and uh, just, just a heads up, Brittany is also going to transcribe any questions that are asked on this call. We'll also uh, type in the responses and send those out to all of you after this as just sort of a recap. Um, after we go through the deck, I'm going to take you to the Employer uh, Coordinator Toolkit and just review some of the materials that we've put together for you to market Gotober internally. And then we'll take a really quick, quick look at the My Way to Go website and the Gotober leaderboard and give you a sense of what to expect once the challenge launches uh, this Saturday, October 1st. And as I mentioned, um, last takeaway I want all of you to, to have is that um, you can feel free to reach out to me, um, Brittany, the way to go at drcog.org inbox if you have any questions or, um, again, need any support during Gotober recruitment. So before I really talk about Gotober and all of these benefits, I want to talk a little bit about the way to go program. Um, so way to go is is a partnership uh, between our organization, the Denver Regional Council of Governments and eight transportation management association partners throughout the nine county Denver region. I see a lot of my uh, TMA partners on here today. So welcome and really appreciate you all joining as well. Um, your local TMA is going to be a great resource for you as well as you go through the Gotober challenge um, and certainly you know, they can help you, um, you know, message and come up with talking points to really describe the benefits of these different modes, as can we. Um, and we've also provided some resources for you in that toolkit I mentioned. Um, primarily, we work with businesses to get them to offer eco-friendly commuting options to their workforce, but we also do a lot of marketing to commuters and residents as well. So one of the things we'll talk about on this call today is how we've structured the Gotober Challenge. It's both for individuals as well as organizations like the ones that you are all representing today. Um, historically, we work with businesses because, like I mentioned, it's a little bit easier, I think, for commuters to choose those eco-friendly options when they have some support from their employer. So again, just want to reiterate um, how thankful we are that each of you have decided to participate in this challenge. Finally, want to talk a little bit about modes where what modes we are recognizing. Um, way to go is all about reducing traffic congestion and improving air quality. So what that means is the Gotober Challenge is really about doing those things. So we've gotten a few questions from people about what modes are eligible for the challenge. I want all of you to think about whether a mode takes people off of uh, the road, um, if it reduces traffic congestion, and if it reduces air pollution, then those are modes that we would recommend. Um, questions like, you know, does riding an electric vehicle um, count? Unfortunately, it doesn't because an electric vehicle is still a car on the road. Um, you could count an electric vehicle, let's say if you had three other people in it and you had formed a carpool in there, that's that's a great option um, actually. But you know, just a single occupant vehicle driver in a car by themselves is not gonna be somebody who's eligible to track a trip. So again, just think about what modes reduce pollution, what modes reduce that traffic congestion, and those are really what we want you to promote among your workforce. All right. Buy solar panels. If you live in one of these 11 um, states of America. Can I ask each of you to please uh, just mute your computers? Thank you. All right. So want to talk a little bit about the beginning of Gotober and how we sort of uh, launched this. So Gotober launched about eight years ago. And again, I keep saying this word, but we really feel like Gotober is kind of a fun way um, to introduce commuters to new options to get around. Um, so, oh, sorry, I'm not able to advance. Here we go. <laughs> uh, 
Um, and we also like to use this as a way to provide structure around um, these employee commutes so that we're able to incentivize them in the future. One of the great things about Gotober is way to go is actually taking on the incentive incentivization um, aspect of this challenge. So we've purchased the prizes for individuals who participate and we'll also be purchasing prizes for companies that that um, top the leaderboard. We'll talk a little bit about that. But ultimately participating in Gotober has these big benefits um, of just reducing air pollution and traffic congestion. And again, that's really what way to go is all about. Um, so one of the programs that Dr. Cog um, participates in, actually we manage the Bike to Work Day event each year and that happens in the summer. We also do Winter Bike to Work Day in February. Um, in fact, most of you will probably start getting some communications in the next couple months about Winter Bike to Work Day. Um, but with, you know, sort of a big gap between February and June, we really wanted to have something that covers those fall months. So that's why we decided to go forward with Gotober. We did want to kind of give this structured engagement to our commuters um, during this time of the year as well. And then with COVID hitting in 2019, um, that year we made the decision to include telework as well. Um, previously, we were really counting those non-SOV commutes, um, but we do find that telework results in uh, significant vehicle miles traveled reduction. And so we do wanna, um, we do wanna promote that mode. So today, um, or I'm sorry, this year rather, we are allowing telework to be tracked. And we'll talk a little bit about that as well. So, I want to talk a little bit too about the impact of Gotober last year. Um, so because of COVID, we just didn't have a whole lot of participation in 2021. Um, our enrollment numbers were fairly low and we actually only had 21 businesses participate. Um, some of you who are on today, but I do just want you to take a look at these stats with only 21 businesses participating. We were able to make a pretty significant impact throughout the month of October. I'm really, really excited to announce that as of this afternoon, we're at 53 employers enrolled for Gotober. So look at these numbers here. Um, these numbers are only going to go up as you uh, each engage your workforce to participate in the program. So um, I'm, again, really excited to see so many people interested in the program this year. And again, just kind of look at the impact that this has. Um, we, we may at the very least double these numbers, um, possibly even more. Let's see. So one of the messages that we are definitely going to incorporate into our communications to uh, Gotober participants is the fact that you can save um, significantly on commuting costs. So definitely recommend uh, mentioning that as well. We'll talk a little bit more later in the slide about other messaging, other talking points you can share with employees to sort of highlight those benefits. Um, but you know, certainly we, we do want to let people know that, um, that they can make this significant impact, not just on the environment, but also on their, on their own savings. And then finally, I'm aware a lot of um, employers are still hybrid. Many employers have not um, asked their workforce to come back to the office either. Um, I know that there are some um, businesses who have enrolled for Gotober this year who are not, um, who are not uh, having employees come into the office in person yet. Um, so we still, you know, again, encourage those companies to participate and uh, have their employees track their telework days. Um, each telework day counts as two trips. You kind of have your trip there and your trip back all covered by telework. Um, and then individuals can earn points every time they track a non-solo driving trip. We'll talk a little bit more in detail about that points, um, uh, I guess, process though, as we move on here. So there are two components of the challenge. It's a little bit confusing, so I'll explain this as well as I can, and then I'm happy to take any additional questions. But there is the Gotober to Company Challenge, and there is the Gotober Commuter Challenge. So the Company Challenge is basically that leaderboard that has the name of the organization that you work for. The more employees you recruit and the more employees you recruit who also track trips, the higher you'll climb up the leaderboard. And when I say you, I'm talking to you as ambassadors or representatives of your organization. So your organization will climb that leaderboard as you get individuals to join the challenge and track those non-single occupant vehicle trips. 
all individuals will be entered into the commuter challenge. So in addition to giving prizes for the companies who participate, we have also selected some great prizes for any individual who decides to participate in GoTober, whether they're an employee of yours or if they're just an individual whose employer is not um, participating, maybe they're self-employed, we're also putting them into the bucket for these prizes for the commuter challenge. So for the company challenge, a couple of things that you as ETCs can do, again, encourage those non-SLV trips. Um, each of you should have received a unique URL, a network registration link, once you share that out with your workforce, they'll have to, uh, they'll be asked to fill out a short form um, and then they'll be registered as a member of your business. Any trips that they track on the My Way to Go platform, um, Commute Tracker or the Strava app. And again, um, don't, don't take notes on this. We'll, we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, but any trips that they track on those apps that are not solo driving trips are going to help your organization move up the board. And it's also going to help those individuals move up the board as well. So any Denver Region employer can sign up for the company challenge. Um, all of you have. You've already gone to the waytogo.org slash gotober page, filled out that form. Um, and then any commuter can participate in the commuter challenge. All right, so I just want to pause there. Are there any questions about the distinction between the commuter challenge and the company challenge? All right, um, then, then I will move on. All right, so, you know, the, uh, yes, did someone have a question? Oh. Yeah, this is Tom from Aurora. Hey, so Tom. from the employee's perspective, if they're part of a company that's participating, will they do anything different than the folks for the commuter challenge? Nope. So the actions that the commuters will take will just be the same regardless of whether their employer is participating in Gotober or not. Okay. And, and the dashboard that they see that they use to log the trips, it will be pretty much the same? Exactly. So if you're an employee, or I'm sorry, if you're a commuter whose employer is not participating, you would just track trips through the typical My Way to Go um, platform. As an employer, though, uh, you want to share that unique network link with your team so that when they're tracking their trips, they're being tracked as part of your organization. Does that answer your question, Tom? Yes, thank you. Absolutely. Um, and then one one note, if any of you are like, what's she talking about, this network registration link, um, no worries, don't panic, uh, just feel free to reach out to me and I'm happy to send that to you. Oh. All right, and uh, just a, a request um, that everybody just please mute their... Yeah, their I'm not good. All right. Um, okay, so next thing I want to talk about are all of those reasons um, that I think you should participate. So, I mean, I, I just, I do feel like um, companies who support those eco-friendly um, commutes, they, they definitely have the, um, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong slide. So I want to talk about the prizes really quickly. So, um, the company challenge participants are going to be featured on a public leaderboard, as will the commuters um, who are participating as individuals. Um, those are going to be sort of on different pages on the My Way to Go platform. And again, we can poke around a little bit on that just to see what that experience looks like. Um, but I did want to just point out some of these some of these prizes. So um, company challenge, we are uh, actually breaking up organizations into five, uh, five categories by size. And um, all of the organizations who top the leaderboard in their size category are going to be recognized in an ad buy on the Denver Business Journal. And then we're also going to be doing four weekly prizes for the commuter challenge, um, really a total of uh, nine prizes. So we'll do four weekly prizes, which are a bit higher value. Um, we're going to be doing four random drawings of Amazon gift cards worth $25 each. That will happen after the event ends. Um, and then one uh, cyclist who tracks trips through the Strava app will be given a cyclist prize. Um, so panniers, a cable lock, and a jacket, um, we'll, we'll send that to that one, one winner. We have some questions in the chat, Nisha. Um, right. Angela is asking where the public leader board is. 
Yeah, so Angela, the public leaderboard is on the mywaytogo.org website. Um, I will show you that sort of at the end of this tour um, and, and I'll definitely share out those URLs when we uh, follow up tomorrow. And okay, perfect. And then Adam had a question, I think it got answered about, do we need a track on Strava to be eligible for the Strava Cyclist Prize? Um, one thing I will know as well is make sure you link the My Way to Go or the Commute Tracker with Strava. There's a sync function you have to do for it to automatically go over to, to that. And that, yeah, that is a unique prize just for people who are tracking on Strava. Thanks, Brittany. Yeah. Brittany is an avid cyclist. So if you have any like cycling questions, she's the person to ask. Awesome. So that sort of covers the prizes. Again, um, you know, typically when we do our monthly challenges, we might give out a few prizes or one big prize. Um, but Gotober is one of the events where we give out, you know, multiple big prizes. So we really do hope that this incentivizes your uh, workforce to participate. All right. So finally, why participate? Um, truly, I do feel like you know, working for a company like I do that, um, you know, supports eco-friendly commuting, it is good for my morale. I feel like I work for an organization that's doing the right thing. Um, you know, I think um, one thing that we found, we do have a pretty good uh, survey process, but we, we do a lot of um, sort of attitude and behavior surveys. And we find that um, by offering commute options to your workforce, you can actually improve the culture and sort of improve the sentiment of employees on site. Um, it's just that morale piece again. I personally think that carpooling or, you know, people riding transit together can help with team building. It just helps people get to know each other, which is sort of a nice um, side effect of, of that team camaraderie. Um, I will just um, mention, I, I'm sure anyone here who regularly rides transit is aware that RTD has been experiencing experiencing some delays. Um, if you're encouraging employees to take transit or you know of employees at your uh, workplace who do take transit regularly, um, I would encourage you to recommend um, that they check the RTD website for cancellations. Um, we'd also recommend that they enroll on the website for service alerts and that way they'll get push notifications um, if any, any schedule changes occur. So just, uh, just a heads up there. Um, you know, I think other benefits of some of the modes that we are asking you to promote, um, things like active transportation options like biking and walking, obviously have like health benefits, uh, morale benefits, mood boosting benefits. Um, and then finally, I really think that by participating in Gotober, all of you organizations are showing that you do care about the region that you um, work in and that you're taking some ownership of the air quality issues that we all that we're all aware of here. All right. So I mentioned that there is a toolkit for all of us to take a look at or um, that we'll take a look at in a little bit. Um, there are quite a few tips on marketing for Gotober. Just a heads up, way to go is going to be sending regular email updates to Gotober participants. So any marketing that you do will be sort of in addition to the push that we are doing from our end. Um, so again, if you want to market the program, we've put together some assets for you. We've got social media graphics, some copy, email copy, um, a handout that you could print out and leave at people's desks or in break rooms. So I'm happy to um, you know show, show you that. And then I do just want to leave you with this for a moment. I know I've been saying way to go at drcog.org. Um, this is our help email line. I think all of you have received some messages from this from this mailbox, um, but do not hesitate, um, like I said before, to reach out to way to go if you run into any issues. Um, again, we're happy to help. We are just so uh, grateful for your participation. So whatever we can do to support you getting the program off the ground, um, we're happy and willing to do that. We have one more question, Nisha, in the chat. Um, okay. Alexandra from Boulder County is asking kind of logistics about teleworking. Um, what if there are multiple possible in-person meetings that can also be attended remotely in one day? Can that count as multiple telework trips in one day? So unfortunately, um, well, not unfortunately, I think really just to sort of keep the playing field level, we're capping the number of trips, whether they're telework or different types of commutes at two per day. So really just looking at the there and the back. 
we know a lot of people split up their trips. They do multimodal trips where maybe they ride the bus for part of it and ride their bikes for another part. We didn't feel it was fair to count those commuters um, with, with much higher points because the vehicle miles traveled reduced, the, the traffic um, congestion benefits are typically the same no matter how many modes you take. So we are limiting the number of trips that an employee can track to two per day. Great question. We had a comment, and I would like to also note that what Nisha said about telework is the two trips for the telework, you don't have to track two telework things a day on the My Way to Go um, platform. It would just be once, and that would automatically count as two. It would assume that would cover your full commute. Um, and then we had a comment from Angela. I would love to have some simple messages to go along with the social media graphics maybe next year. Oh, how about this year? We've got you covered. So I will show you those um, just in a couple minutes. And then Garrett says, will you be providing suggested um, language for emails and internal communi communications again this year? Absolutely. So all of those, um, I guess the, the email, the social media copy you can find in the toolkit. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, Take, take a look at that. Again, just wanted to leave this slide up here because my contact info is here. Again, um, we've got the way to go uh, email address. Um, so just to feel free to reach out. But yeah, let me go ahead and um, show the, the toolkit. Um, Brittany, what are you seeing on my screen right now? I'm seeing it looks like the GoTober Dropbox. All right, that's where I wanted to go. So this is where we've got the company coordinator material stored. I'm sorry, just give me one moment. Um, I gotta get my, my screens optimized here. Um, so yeah, we've got quite a few resources in here. I think what's gonna be most helpful, especially for those of you who are new to Gotober, is this coordinator toolkit. And I'm sorry, let me just go back to this. I am gonna uh, drop this link into chat. Um, I believe all of you also have this in your email, but I'm just going to put this in here so that everybody has access to it uh, right away. So we've got about two resources here and then a couple folders. So um, first thing I want to, to draw everyone's attention to is this toolkit PDF. So this is basically a guidebook that all of you would use to learn more about Gotober. What is it? What are some of the benefits like I summarized today? Um, and then, you know, just some tips for, you know, what you want to promote as far as modes. I'm not going to go through every single, you know, page of this. Um, but again, there are quite a few helpful resources in here as you're sort of figuring out what those steps you need to take to enroll are. Um, so I would definitely spend some time looking at this page. Uh, this is page three. Um, where we talk about how companies can sign up and how you can get em employees to sign up as well and where they can track their trips. That's going to be a really important piece of this process. Um, I also summarized all of the prizes here. I think um, anytime you can use the prizes to entice people to register, I, I do feel that that's going to build our share of participation. So certainly um, just, just kind of try to remember what these prizes are. Um, and again, just... Um, I, I think these are going to be cool prizes that really help people with their with their commutes, um, whether they're you know commuting to work like by carpool or transit. So just something fun um, for them to use. And then here in this communicate section, um, I did just include the schedule that we are planning to send um, communications to your team um, on. So planning to send the first communication to Gotober participants this Monday. Um, and then we will just follow up throughout the month. Um, I haven't provided what copy we'll be sending. I think we're gonna wanna be so somewhat agile. So depending on the week, depending on what kind of participation we're seeing, we may you know, change up the messaging a little bit, but just be aware that as you're crafting your own internal communication strategy, here is the schedule that we're planning to communicate with your employee base on. So, if you're interested in just pulling some, um, you know, some copy for your internal emails, we've got quite a few options for you here starting on page six. Again, I won't spend too much time on here, but you can adapt this copy. You can, um, you know, copy it completely. It's totally up to you. 
we do have a placeholder here for sign up at your unique network link. Again, that's that unique registration link that is just for your organization. And again, if you don't have that, uh, feel free to reach out to way to go and we'll get that over to you. So again, more email copy. Um, I think we provided five boilerplate messages for you. Yep, we've got five um, email ideas for you. And then here we've got some sample social media copy. Um, so definitely feel free to, to use any of this. I have included the hashtags that we'd like you to use. And anytime you can tag um, Dr. Cog and Way to Go, again, we would we would love to like boost your post. Um, so definitely uh, think about tagging us and we can sort of support your, your uh, campaign as well. All right. So um, last thing I wanna point out, just some great um, contact information. Um, again, feel free to reach out to way to go at drcog.org for any general general questions. If there is a TMA here whose name you recognize um, because you work regularly with them, um, they will also be a great resource for you to reach out to. So all of this information, again, is available in the Gotober Company Coordinator Toolkit. So definitely um, download that, save it, and review this before you kick off your marketing. Next thing I want to point out is a oh Brittany, do we have another? We question? have a couple of questions. Cool. Um, I kind of responded to one of them, but I wanted to bring this up. Uh, one of the users was asking about how the scoring worked, individual trips versus miles. Um, so just keeping in mind that your your goal is those two trips per day, um, regardless of distance. Um, and then we did have a question. Uh, from Elaine about trips Monday through Friday or weekend trips about what is eligible? Great question. I love this question. So, you know, Elaine, because a lot of our employers are not expecting their employees to come back to the office, and we also want people who may not work traditional Monday through Friday jobs to be able to participate, um, we're accepting trips that are taken seven days of the week. Um, we also changed things up this year to include, and I I'm, I'm feel remiss that I didn't uh, mention this during the presentation, um, but we're also accepting errands, so trips with friends, um, trips to the grocery store on the weekends. If you swap a single occupant vehicle drive with some non-SOV um, mode, we want you to track that as well. So certainly we want to make this as accessible to people as possible, um, knowing kind of where we are um, with, with COVID and, you know, just different um, different situations with return to office. And then one other note is from one user was identified a firewall issue with their Dropbox internally on their company side. So please let us know if you're having any issues accessing the Dropbox. Yes, that's a great point. Um, typically, if it's an internal firewall issue, you know, a couple things you can do, open a ticket with your local IT. Um, if you, I mean, I, I hate to encourage anyone to work um, outside work hours, but if you do go home and you're able to access the link because there's no firewall, um, certainly you could do it that way. Many of these files are pretty large, so they would be hard for us to email, but we can find some alternative options if, if uh, anyone has issues opening these. Perfect. And Angela is saying to clarify my way to go is sending weekly uh, meetings to our participating employees. So we should send our own mess. Oh, sorry. I think she means messages, uh, weekly messages to our participating employees. So we should send our messages separately and maybe on different days. Exactly. Yep. Yep. So that's why I feel like that schedule is going to be helpful for you. So if you see there's a week where we're blasting your employees twice that week, you may not even need to do a whole lot of outreach to them. Um, but of course, the more you do, um, the more registration you might get. So I would leave that up to you and sort of your knowledge of the culture at your organization. And then Erica's note says it's nice. It's so holistic this year and including personal trips in seven days a week. Awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, we just, we did want to make this um, inclusive and accessible and definitely didn't want to limit participation to people who have, you know, the traditional Monday through Friday, nine to five job. So I appreciate that, um, Erica. Perfect. And then a clarifying question, is the two trip cap two round trips or two one-way trips? I take it that if we have regularly scheduled work from home days, we should only count those commute trips if we're regularly scheduled to go into the office in person. 
I would say track all your all your daily commutes, right? Um, so that to, to answer the first question, that one telework trip that you track is going to count as two trips automatically in the system. Um, and, and sorry, did I miss something else in that question, Brittany? I think I grouped two people's questions together. Um, so Jenny was asking about, you know, the two trip cap and then Tom is asking about um, like work from home days. And if we count those, let's see, it says I, I take it if that we have regularly scheduled work from home days, we should only count those commute trips if we're regularly scheduled to go into the office in person. So not like in any way. Yeah, because again, um, you know, you're you're staying off the, the road that day. Perfect. And then Megan's asking if there's a link to the 2022 leaderboard so people can see their results. Right now, the link goes to the 2021 GoTober by the numbers. Yeah, so we, we don't have all of the uh, new content populated just yet. We're working with the platform managers to kind of get all of the copy updated, new images in there. Um, what Brittany and I have been doing is just going through and removing all of the old data for 2021 GoTober and uploading the new company information. That should all be done today or tomorrow. Um, so we'll, we'll hopefully start to see that populate before, um, before Friday so that when October 1st rolls around, all of your companies should be input into the leaderboard for 2022. Um, and Jenny's question, the one regarding two trips cap, as two round trips or two one-way trips, she had a clarifying um, point to her question. So she says, if I bike to work, bike home from work, walk to the grocery store and then walk home from the grocery store, can I only count two of those trips or does that count as two round trips? So maybe like a little distinction here, you could track those trips, but you'll only earn two points. You'll only earn points for those uh, two trips that you're trying. Sorry, sorry, you could track all four of those trips, but we are capping the number of points you can earn at two. So you would really just earn points for that bike ride to and from, um, and then that walking trip, uh, you just get the satisfaction of knowing you're not contributing to um, air pollution. Perfect. And then Byron reminded us the campaign doesn't start until October 1st. So um, yep. one thing I would say along with that is if you get employees signed up before that, they can't retroactively track their, track their trips if they say they signed up, but they want to track trips before they added to the company page, correct, Nisha? Like say it's like October 5th and they join the link, but they would they be eligible for, you know, the first through the fourth for for trips? That's so this is a good point. Um, I'm sure, Brittany, that if like an ETC came to us um, and, and group, I, I feel like if any of you came to us and said, you know, I just I got the link out late. I have, um, you know, employees who have been tracking non SOV trips, but they're not counting for Gotober because they're just tracking it, you know, as um, individual commuters. Um, I would imagine, and Byron, let me just follow back up with you on this. Um, I'm gonna make a quick note to follow up with our platform managers, but I would imagine there's a way for us to adjust that in the back end. Um, however, it'll be much easier if you can share that link before October 1st, have people register so that any trips they start tracking beginning Saturday will count toward the challenge. Perfect. And then Charmaine is reminding us about social media messages. Um, we'll also publish posts throughout GoTober to Thanks. cheer participants on and highlight our weekly winners. Feel free to reshare those or use the copy for your channels. Excellent. Yeah, sometimes just reposting the things that we've shared is going to be the easiest for you. So definitely um, feel free to do that. Great suggestion. And then um, we have a comment that says, usually my way to go allows you to enter trips retroactively. Uh, will that not be possible during GoTober? So you can, um, you can enter those trips retroactively. Yeah. I think what we're trying to, trying to explain is that you probably have employees who are already using my way to go. But if they haven't registered with your unique network, 
then they're not going to be tracking trips as an employee at your organization. Um, so that's why we want you to share that network link. However, we will allow people to, to track their trips retroactively, though we're cutting that off at the end of October. So October 31st, 11, 59, 59, make sure that all your employees have backtracked any trips. Um, we're not going to allow people to go in on November 1st and add trips for October. Any other questions? No. All right. Well, keep keep them coming. Um, this is, I think, this is all just really helpful for everybody here to to kind of talk through and hear the answers for. Um, so other resource I want to point out is this Gotober printable flyer. Um, I mentioned in case you have, um, you know, a break room where you want to set up um, some sort of marketing material, or if you've um, you even got capacity to do desk drops, um, we've just got this fun flyer that we put together um, where we talk a little bit about how to, how to uh, participate. So again, this is available for you all to download as well. Couple other things I do want to point out, and I'm not going to go through in very much detail um, with with each of these, but the Gotober social media graphics folder. Um, let's just open that so that I can see or show you all what kind of um, images we have. I think we've got 21 in here, but these are all really cool graphics that sort of de uh, depict the multimodal transportation yeah. options. And we've got this really nice um, way to Gotober uh, logo down at the lower right corner cool. of, of each you. image. So um, do feel free to use any of these, especially if you see any modes that really resonate with you and your employee workforce, definitely use those images. Um, so again, plenty of options for you here. Um, I'm just going to go back to the company coordinator folder. Um, some of you may have a Teams channel or a Slack channel. Um, definitely download one of these icons so that you can um, you know, set these up as an icon for people to identify what channel you're talking about Gotober on. Use this as a way to sort of hype people up. If you've got employees who are doing a great job with Gotober, um, recognize them in your Slack channel. And again, use this icon if you feel like. This is gonna be useful, I think, too. This is just a very official guide um, to how people can win um, the various prizes. So this first one is sort of the official rules for the company challenge. So I've listed here all of the size categories. Um, we're talking about how people can earn points and uh, help your company go up the leaderboard. Um, and then, you know, again, just a little bit of language here that really helps you understand exactly how we're tracking your success. Um, now, here's another nice one that just um, has all of the different prize criteria. So we even say here when we're going to do the drawing, um, during what time period is somebody eligible to win a certain prize. So again, um, use these materials however you'd like. If you know you've got employees who would you know love to win the Kindle Paperwhite? Um, you might really do a big push at the end of week one to encourage those trips for week two. So just wanted to leave this here to provide some transparency as to how we're going to be running all of the prizes. All right. Um, so that's kind of it for the resources that we have in the toolkit. Does anyone have questions about these materials, how they can be used, um, any other details I could share? All right, then we can move on. Um, so we've got a lot of questions about the My Way to Go platform. So once this campaign launches, how do we see our progress? How do we see um, you know, the way our employees are performing? Um, I just uh, wanted to give a quick caveat. I noticed some of the uh, information on this page hasn't yet been updated. Um, I'm going to just reach out to the vendor and make sure that all of this is populated before the end of the day today, ideally. But this is essentially what the challenge page is going to look like. This provides you with a little bit of an overview for how to participate. You can see here, these are not the current prizes. Um, so we'll make sure that all that information is updated. Um, and then we do have these really uh, great um, 
application links here that will show you how to track those trips or rather your employee base, how to track those trips once they registered for Gotober. Once we scroll to the bottom, you'll see a number of leaderboards. So uh, this is gonna be the commuter leaderboard. So all of those individuals who participate, whether they're an employee or not, um, they're gonna be uh, appearing here. And then there's gonna be a link to go to the full leaderboard. Um, again, this is showing last year's data because we don't have any, um, any stats for 2022. Once the challenge kicks off, the leaderboard will populate with the new information. One change we've made this year is we've added two additional size categories. Um, so we've got an extra small and an extra large size category. Again, if you're interested in um, learning at all about those categories, I am just going to point you to the official rules and prizes um, for the company challenge. This is where we say how many um, employees we're putting in each um, in each um or how many um, employees in the workforce are sort of um, outlining which category they'll be in. Um, so this is what the individual leaderboard will look like. Again, you'll see how many people have participated, sort of a roll up of some of these stats. We will most likely grab some of these stats when we're doing our email and social media campaigns and say something like, congratulations, Gotober participants. You've you know, um, saved 35.9 tons of um, CO2 from being emitted into our, our, um, into our environment. So um, definitely feel like this will be a nice opportunity for you to mark it as well. And then, as I mentioned, the company leaderboard We'll have two more um, two more categories for those extra small and those extra large company sizes. And um, you know, depending on which category you're in, you'll be able to see yourself in this leaderboard, depending again on how many trips you've um, gotten your employees to track. So that's kind of it for the My Way to Go platform tour. There are a few other pages that I'll share once they're populated, but that will likely be by email with some instructions on how you can use those pages for your promotions and how you can use those to sort of gauge um, your, your organization's success. So we've got about 15 minutes left on the call. Um, I, I do wanna open this up for questions. However, if we don't have a whole lot of questions, um, if there are any Gotober coordinators on the line who have um, experiences they want to share, if they've got best practices or success stories from previous campaigns, um, I do want to give an opportunity for you all to share those thoughts. So, um, Brittany, do, do we see any questions? There's a question about company size. Um, is the size of a company determined by the entire workforce or the workforce at a single location? Um, I have heard conflicting answers. Yeah, it's a good question. And it is a little, there isn't like an easy, easy answer for this. Um, I would like to think of it as a single location unless, so let me, let me back up. Think of, think of it this way. Your total workforce for the GoTober Company Challenge is the number of people that you're planning to market the program to. So once you get that individual registration link, um, let's say you have 600 employees. If you're planning to send that link to all 600, then certainly we want to um, we want to um, make that be the the company size because we're really looking at this as a you know what's the most number of employees that we are going to market this to. Perfect. And this is clarifying follow-up that I, I didn't quite get to before we answered the question, but it says uh, the company has 600 employees, but fewer like 100 who work in the office. Um, and then, so um, we'll look for updates for company size possibly. Um, so yeah. feel free to message us on the uh, email, my way to go. Um, Absolutely. If you have yeah. any updates. No, that's that's a great question, and I I do feel like a lot of people are going to want to noodle with it. Um, let me do this. Um, what I can do is I can send out in that recap email, just also letting you know what company size um, we've put your size category we've put you in, and what company size was reported um, when you filled out your application. In case there are any changes there, we can make those. So I'll just I'll just attach a little spreadsheet. Any other questions? 
I don't see any right now in the chat. All right, so seasoned GoTober coordinators, um, I'm looking to, to I, I don't wanna call on somebody, um, but I would just be curious if anybody here who has participated in GoTober either as a commuter or as somebody who has sort of marketed it as at their um, workplace, um, what feedback do you have? What's worked in the past? What absolutely hasn't? Is there anyone here who's who's willing to share? And just feel free to unmute and, and uh, speak out. I learned this tip that if I don't say anything for long enough, somebody will say something. So I'm going to try it right now. Um, this is Eric with the Northeast Transportation Connections. Um, so we're the TMA kind of in Northeast Denver. Um, some of you may know us. Um, I would say just make it fun for employees. This is a competition to be fun. I think um, one of the reasons this kind of formed uh, quite a few years ago was kind of an answer to Bike to Work Day. And Bike to Work Day being this fun event kind of catered to people biking. Um, so this was an answer to include everybody in every other commute mode um, for people to really try it out on their way to work, give them a chance to, to have this fun kind of competition where you get to not only, you know, compete against fellow employees, but fellow employers within the region that are similar size to you. So the Way to Go team and all the TMAs have worked really hard to evolve this campaign to really make it um, fair and simple for everyone involved to try to make sure that, you know, we're not leaving small businesses in the dust with competing with larger businesses. So there's been a lot of thought going into this, but I think at the end of the day, just trying to make it really fun for employees is the, the number one goal. So that's that. my two cents. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Yeah, I think this is a fun campaign. And, um, you know, obviously riding your bike to work is a lot of fun, um, but I think riding transit can be too. Um, and just those, those types of modes that can get your attention off the road, you can find other things to do with your time, which is, um, I, I think, great. Who else wants to share? Charmaine is trying to call on Evan to say something. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't announce that to the group, but he, she's calling him out. I don't think I have anything additional uh, to add. Um, oh. All the all the items I think that people had had mentioned uh, will be helpful. Uh, just cutting and pasting and sending the stuff to uh, to your workforces and encouraging people to do the same. I think is the is the best thing. Just keep keep pushing and and exceed the minimum number of of emails. Yeah, absolutely. Whatever you guys can do to sort of highlight the campaign um, in addition to what we're doing is definitely going to be helpful. And I did see Evan's comment in here. Yes, I will be absolutely tracking bullet train trips while I'm in Japan at the end of this month. Um, and we have a thank you for the great material and presentation. Um, another comment that says probably would be good to limit the number of employees in the company size to those employees in the metro area that would influence metro congestion. You know, it's such a great point, Tom. I think one of the issues we run into with the platform is that we're not really able to sort of um, you know, like like geo fence, we're really relying on our ETCs to sort of, um, you know, market this again to those employee populations who I think if they're in the metro area, they can more easily avail themselves of some of these options like transit or carpool. Um, so, you know, I, I wish there was an easy way for us to just um, come up with who can participate and who can't. But we, we definitely, like um, we've said, want to make this as inclusive as possible. And so if that means that occasionally an employee who is not, you know, coming from the metro area, but maybe contributing to that congestion, we certainly do want them to be able to participate. 
Great. And I do see a comment from um, Byron. I've got the chat pulled up now. Yeah, definitely getting that buy-in from the leadership team. Um, if you could get, you know, your, your C-suite or your executive team to also participate in the challenge, um, I think it goes a long way to show that, you know, even leadership is kind of buying into this, uh, buying into this, um, you know, behavior change. Any other feedback or again, ideas, questions? Yeah, so Evan, this is an excellent question. So Evan is asking employers who use their own tracking um, systems to do you know, their, their uh, trip reduction programs, can they participate in Gotober? We looked into this and unfortunately they can't. Um, and here's the reason why. Um, there were a few solutions that we could put in place. We could do sort of a manual upload. But what happens with that is all the individual trips become anonymized. So there's no way to recognize those individuals on the leaderboard. Um, and then Evan, we also found that we're not able to apply those Gotober parameters to trips that are uploaded through that mechanism. So basically, um, you know, that cap that says we can only count two points. If we were to open up that upload option, it could potentially bypass those parameters. Um, and that would make the challenge um, really unfair and it would also so make it difficult for us to sort of go in um, proactively and fix some of that data. So unfortunately, we did have to make the decision this year to not allow businesses who aren't on my way to go to, to use this. So uh, it's a good question. And um, we, we may also um, try to look into this uh, for the future. Well, they, they would be in my way to go. Uh, they would just be uploading all the trips for the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's that's still um, kind of the similar use case, um, Evan. They have an account, but those users are tracking their trips on some other application. So then there would have to be like a data export process and then an upload. That is the process that would anonymize all of that data. All right, I'll work with them and hold their hand, just make them upload everything in the last week manually. Before 11 59 59 on October 31st. Any other questions? All right. Well, I feel like this meeting went on for a respectable amount of time. We've got five minutes left. Um, I will just stay on everybody else. Uh, feel free to drop if you'd like to, but if anyone just wants to kind of chat during this last five minutes in a smaller group, like I said, I'll be here um, until two o'clock. Um, and do just feel free to reach out to Way to Go at Dr. Cog again with any questions. And if you think of any comments or feedback from this um, from this meeting after we sign off, um, do definitely reach out and let me know. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Really appreciate your time. I'm so grateful for your participation, and I'm really excited for this challenge. Um, so good luck. And thank you. We'll be in communication. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, Joe, Zoe, or Angela, did any of you have any additional questions you wanted to ask? If not, I think I'll go ahead and end this call. Hi, Angela. Good to see you. Uh, you are on mute. I think my question was answered. I've been going back and forth with Brittany on it. Oh, good. Um, so I just want to make sure I understand. So we have employees that only work from home. And so they can track two trips, even if they don't normally drive to work. Exactly, yep. So again, that's taking people off the road who might otherwise, if they worked for an organization that required them to come into the office, they would otherwise be on the road. I realize that like the messaging around telework isn't that exciting. Um, cause it's just like, 
do what you're doing. It's a very passive way of sort of participating. So if you're interested in sort of building that excitement and giving them other opportunities, that's where the messaging around errands would come in. So, you know, we know you're teleworking Monday through Friday, that's great, but you could also do your grocery store trips on your bike, or you could also visit with your friends um, taking transit, for example. So it really depends on, you know, like I said, all of the companies um, have kind of different um, practices now around return to office. So we're just trying to, um, yeah, we don't want it to be like, yeah, keep it yeah. simple. No, exactly. I think that's a great idea to, to the addition of like, you know, consider doing even more than telework um, with Aaron. So that's great. I think that was all. Excellent. That was well, all Glad we could answer your question. Yeah, and again, just uh, really appreciate your participation. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Absolutely. All right, uh, Zoe and Joe, if you don't have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and end this call. And again, thank you so much for, for joining.